<coughs> well, that's it. Pretty much the only thing left to do now is to export our model into O2 and uh, start enjoying it. Um, all the things that we have set up will be useful now uh, as we're going to uh, automatically export a lot of stuff. Uh, the, the exporter for P3D it took a long time to get it well right. It's not 100% right, but it's it does its job uh, to 99.99% uh, satisfaction level. So there's no no hiccups yet. Um, and um, I tried to get it to be as um, efficient as possible and as easy as possible to use everything to save time now I'm going to show you how it works first a few options save texture save materials unless these are checked off they will not be saved um, if you check export selected objects only it will create a PD p3d file with uh, only one lot 0, 0.0 and in it you will find only the objects that you have selected in max so if I would have selected this and now press export that's what would happen no, we're not going to do that yet. We want to export all our, all our lots. So let's see. Um, this is uh, an important box. If it is empty like it is right now, if I press export, nothing will export. So nothing is being done. Uh, what you should do is select a lot in the available lots uh, dialog here. Uh, click on the corresponding lot. If it's a resolution, you can add it and give it a number. So and press add. Same thing here. One add uh, shadow volume. Shadow volume zero. Add. That's a lot of work. That's you know if you have a lot of lots that you want to go just all at the same time. Uh, it's a lot of clicking and pointing and especially if you're not satisfied with something the first time you have to redo it the second time and blah 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 blah. So that's why uh, there's automatic determination here. And this was this is uh, important when you were creating lots right here you were using presets. Now if you use these presets the automatic determination will work. It will determine all the laws where they should go. So let's try it here. Bam. The resolution lots, memory lots, and shadow volume lot. That's uh, that's clear there. The other lot that was created with the lights didn't get included. And that's exactly what we want. And that's it. Click export and keep your fingers crossed. My turret. Important. It's the same name as was defined in the model.cfg file. Save. And just hope for the best. Okay, um, as far as I can tell, that's it for Max. Now we turn over to Oxygen. File, open my turret. Okay, so it loaded. First thing you can notice section names, they work in every LOD. Speaking of LODs, the LODs are there as well. Shadow volume lot is wrong, but we can change that. No, it's zero. That will be fixed in the final version. Memory lot is here, but that's three different selections. Okay, first thing you want to do is select your model, press F5 just to recalculate the normals. So you should always be doing that in any case, but for all your resolution lots, that's important. Okay, um, shadow volume. And there's some prerequisites on the shadows. So I'm going to recalculate the normals first. And then I'm going to first structure topology find non closed. If there's something, some open polygons, then you want to delete them. Uh, then it has to be sharp edges. Press U for that. And structure triangulate. Everything has to be triangles. And the last thing I want to do is I'm going to press W to invert the normals of the uh, of the polygons. This is a cheap 
trick to make your shadow lots uh, work a lot better. <laughs> so if you're having trouble uh, seeing some weird shadows popping up, try doing that. It might help you. Okay, uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add lot no shadow one. Copy this. So that they don't create self shadowing. Okay. And I am going to uh, show shadow, uh, maybe multiple lots. In any case, I'm going to start bulldozing. Before that, Before I go there, I just want to also uh, demonstrate that if you're using the new version of O2, you can have the direct text preview here of your textures. You can see it. Make sure you have this click on. And you can see the UV maps and the smoothing groups have been carried over. And previewing bulldozer. And that's it. Shadows are there. Textures are there. You can see the normal mapping is there. And for the grand finale, if I turn my mouse wheel, I have animations. If I click my mouse wheel, I change the animation source. If I roll my mouse wheel again, I'll see that's from minus 5 to plus 30. And for the turret, it goes around 360 degrees. And uh, that's it. The model is there. In a little over 20 minutes, we've brought over a, a mesh from Max to O2 with animations, with material assignments, with different lots, with selection names, uh, saving an enormous amount of time doing all the stuff in, in O2. Uh, all these new features are included in the upcoming release. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope you liked it.